Uh, is there any news on Matthews? I'm not really, uh, uh, not a Leafs fan, really, so I don't see much on that stuff. To be honest, they're being pretty hush hush about it right now. We don't really know. We don't really know what the exact problem is. We don't know how long he's going to be out. They just don't need him right now, so uh, they are chilling on him. And I don't really blame him. Why not? Why not? Uh, do I think so? Yeah, we already did the Kucherov comment there. So what happened with that kick? What happened with that kick? I missed it. Y'all can tell me in the chat. There was a kick. I gotta watch out for a kick. I have to look up Kucherov kicks Marner. Is that what I got to do? Someone will probably have it like that already. Maybe. Maybe. Was there anything I missed, folks? Hey, was there anything I missed? I probably ranted a little too long on that, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, this one's for the, for the Leafs fans in the chat here tonight. And the ones that are not. And the ones that are not. And just hanging out with us talking. This is for all you in the chat. Uh, I didn't. Oh, that part. You just saw Marner limp off. Oh, yes. I remember that. I don't think that was a kick, was it? I don't know. It looked like they kind of just collided into each other a little bit. I don't know. Like he might have been trying to interfere a little bit, perhaps. I don't know. And then they somehow caught a little, little bit of the leg or knee. It looked like the back of the knee, I thought. So I don't know. I'd have to check. I'd have to check again. You know, the injury stuff, that's 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 where things can get really gray in a hurry, right? Where there's not such a clear yes or no on a lot of these things. You got to look at intent and stuff. And that's why I say like that that, uh, that high stick on Perry there in the scrum there, that's, that's not really going to go over too well with them, man. They like the people in the NHL because he's taking his stick willfully and putting it up over referees' heads and poking him in the head with it, right? Getting at Perry like that. You know what I mean? Like that's clear intent, that's clear control, and that's the worst kind of stuff. If you're just in the heat of heat of the moment and you you're flailing around, you accidentally clip somebody with your stick, you might still get something for it, but at the same time, you might not, right? Uh, but when you're when you're willfully doing stuff like that, it doesn't really look too good, right? Look, you know what I mean? Uh, Tampa doesn't scare me. Vasilevsky scares me. That's <laughs> that's what it comes down to. Right? I think the Leafs have two main weaknesses, okay? Two main weaknesses. A tough defense, right, will probably get you a win against the Leafs. Like a really solid, buckle it down defense will get you a win against the Leafs. Or an all star elite top two or three goalie in the league. And both of those, what it really is, they're connected because what it really is, is if the Leafs aren't scoring, the Leafs aren't winning. The Leafs can't win one nothing. They don't know how to, they don't know how to hold off a team long enough to keep a one nothing lead. They they cannot play that way. They're not built for that. At least from what I've seen, I have not seen it. You know, um, so they have to figure that out. What do you do when you can't score, right? Because some nights they can't score. You know what I mean? Some nights you're getting a hot goalie, a big goalie, a massive goalie, like you're saying there, absolute. You know. Sometimes you're up against a solid defensive core. I, I mean, again, look at the goals I showed. Or sorry, not the goals. Look at the uh, the the clips I showed you on Instagram today from, from Calgary, and how they handle scrums in front of their net. Two solid clips there of how they handle it. They they give their goalies time to cover up any rebounds because the first thing they do is tie up any loose ends, any sticks, any bodies, whatever. Make sure they can't touch the puck. Let our goalie be the one to use his hands and cover it up. That's how it's done. That's how defense is played. The Leafs don't do that. The Leafs don't do that, right? Now, neither does Tampa, but they got Vasilevsky. We don't have Vasilevsky. So, you either have to have solid D to beat the Leafs or a solid goaltender. And either one of those, as long as the Leafs aren't scoring, they aren't winning. So, fix it, right? Fix it. I think they can. I think it's a matter of the first one kind of has to be by fluke. The first one has to kind of be by accident. First time it happens, right? <laughs> to prove to themselves that it can be done. The three-two win the other night was not bad. I like that against was it the Islanders. I can't remember now. Oh, it's closed. Uh, he found the kick. Looks like uh, Cooch and him went into each other, and Cooch basically spun away, kicking him while doing so. Yeah, like I don't. It's like it's like a quick turn away almost. I don't know what. But I'm with you on that, hey Leslie. I'm with you on that. All right, well. 
I think that about wraps it up, man. Nice and short and sweet. It's an eight and one loss. I mean, there's really not much to to, <laughs> to go on about. You kind of want to just forget about the game and move on. And so shall we, right? We'll forget about it. We'll move on. We'll enjoy the rest of the season until they get to the playoffs where the real stress begins. But it's also where the real fun begins. And I hope you'll enjoy the fun that we have here after each and every game, okay? Come check it out. There's fun things you can do to interact with the show. You know, it's a hilarious and fun time. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you all again after the next game. Sound good, guys? All right. Peace. Take care of each other.